Skin is kind of a weird thing, and I know this firsthand because if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, then you know that I have experienced a variety of skin issues from really bad acne to having scarring. I've kind of been there, done that, experienced it all. So the most recent thing that I've had to deal with is dry, dehydrated skin, which is something that is foreign to me since my actual skin type is oily, and it's something that I never thought that I would be dealing with, but it does happen. My skin would just be dry and flaky and tight, lackluster and dull. It just didn't feel good at all. And let me tell you, the thirst was real, people, for my skin. So I discovered a big trigger for me was basically my lifestyle. So from traveling a ton to being in a heated environment to air conditioning, not having enough water, all of these things really contributed to just making my skin freak out like a monster. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about skin in general. I want to be able to help any of you who are having any kind of skin issues because I know it sucks to have those days when you feel like you don't want to leave the house. I don't want other people to feel that way because I've been there and it's like, hmm, why does my skin have to be doing this? Once I really embraced simplifying my routine and stuck with it, my skin was like, okay, I will do what you want me to do, I will be a happy camper. And that makes me a happy camper. So I'm gonna show you guys the little skincare circle of trust that I have created, and I'm also going to show you ways that you can take care of your skin from the inside out, and some DIYs that just kind of help supplement the entire routine, and they're just fun to do every now and then when you wanna pamper your skin. So let's do this, my peeps. So washing your face is really important. It's something that you've heard your mom say like forever and it's something that you should do, but finding something that works for you is also really important. I have been loving the simple cleansing micellar water and you can see I have used quite a bit of this stuff because I'm obsessed with it. So this guy right here has their triple purified water in it and that instantly hydrates your skin and also reduces the potential for any kind of irritation, which means it's it's great for all the sensitive skin peeps out there, which I am definitely part of that little club. This is gonna be your new BFF if you're someone like me and you like your lazy person products. I just take an exfoliating cotton pad. I just find that that helps get even more of the gunk off of your face. You can use it on your face, your eyes, and your lips. Plus, you don't have to rinse it off, so lazy people unite. On the back here, it says that this is a blend of multivitamins, skin-loving ingredients, and gentle cleansers to cleanse the skin while removing makeup. And I can verify that this does take off makeup. It actually will take off makeup that you don't even know you have on your face still, which is pretty terrifying to think about that you're going to bed with makeup still on your face, but this takes it all off and it's like, oh, thank you, somebody is here to help me. And you can get it at the drugstore so you don't have to go hunting for it. You don't have to spend a ton of money on it. It's just gonna be right there at your local drugstore. It's something that you don't have to think about. You just know it's gonna be awesome and it's gonna be there. It's gonna be there for you, just like a BFF would. I told you this was gonna be your best friend. So after washing my face, I go straight into my moisturizer and this is the Simple Replenishing rich moisturizer. This is basically exactly what it says it is. It's a rich and creamy moisturizer that I really, really love. It lasts all day and keeps your skin hydrated without looking or feeling greasy because I have oily skin and this is something that works really, really well for me. And I'm actually not wearing foundation today. This was something that I wanted to do for this video. I wanted to show you like my bare skin. I just have on a little bit of blush, but other than that, I just have this moisturizer on and that's it, no foundation. This is my bare skin. When I am wearing foundation, I really love how this moisturizer sits underneath and what I do is I apply my moisturizer and then I wait 10 minutes and it has made all the difference in my foundation application. Your moisturizer has really been able to sink into your skin and I love this stuff underneath my makeup and on days when I'm not wearing makeup. And on the back of this one, it says that it has skin-loving ingredients with multivitamins, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin, no artificial perfumes or dyes, and no parabens, which makes it even more awesome. It's also important to hydrate your under eye area and I am somebody that has really, 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 really dry under eyes. 
I don't know why, but I do, and that's why I've always gravitated towards thicker eye creams. And one eye cream that I have been using consistently for years is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This is one of the most hydrating eye creams that you can use and I just really love how simple it is. This just sits really nicely under any kind of concealer that you use and I find that it helps decrease the creasing factor <laughs> if that makes sense. Something that I am actually almost out of because I use every single day and my boyfriend likes to steal it from me is the Fresh Sugar Lemon Body Lotion and this stuff, first of all, it smells like fresh laundry and my friend Carrie is the one who who told me that and it is the most true and accurate description of this lotion. If you want to smell like fresh laundry, this is the lotion for you, but it's also ridiculously hydrating without feeling super heavy on your skin. Because you know that feeling when you shower in the morning, you put lotion on, and then you have to put your clothes on and you feel sticky and gross and weird and your jeans are like, what the heck are you doing? Why are you putting me on right now? Your skin is sticky and strange. This won't do that because I've noticed that it really just sinks into your skin and you feel hydrated throughout the day but you can't actually feel the lotion on your skin. So that is a plus for me because no one likes putting on jeans with lotion legs. So that is my everyday skincare routine and you can see that it's super simple. But if you're looking to pamper your skin and just treat yourself a little bit, I have some DIYs to show you now as well as one recipe that's super easy to do because it actually involves taking the ingredients from one of the DIYs and turning it into something that you can eat so you can treat your skin from the inside out. First up, we're making a face mask. So you're gonna need half a smashed avocado and two tablespoons of aloe vera gel. And that's it. All you gotta do is mix these two things together until you're left with a mixture that pretty much looks like guacamole, but don't eat this because it does not taste like guacamole. From here, you just wanna slather this all over your face and be careful because it is chunky. So you're gonna wanna do this over the sink so any chunks that fall off can fall into the sink. You wanna leave the mask on for about five to 10 minutes and then come in with a warm washcloth and just wipe everything off. And your skin is gonna feel so hydrated and the aloe is very soothing. So this is the perfect mask combination. Now, if your skin is dry, dull, and it's also really sensitive, this next mask is for you, my friend. So to make it, you're gonna need one teaspoon of honey, half a mashed banana, one tablespoon ground oats, and you can just throw oatmeal into a food processor and it'll ground it up real fast for you. And one teaspoon of milk. So can you guess what we're gonna do? Yep, you're right. We're just gonna dump everything into a bowl and mix it all together. So fun fact, this mask is actually inspired by a trip that I made to Mexico where I had this full body treatment done and it used all of these ingredients and I loved it. So I decided to turn that into a face mask that I could make at home. This is so moisturizing, it's great for sensitive skin and it looks like oatmeal, so you can't go wrong with that. So I just apply this mask in the exact same way as the last one. I do it over the sink because you just never know what's gonna happen and it's better to be safe than sorry. And I just leave it on my face for about five to 10 minutes and you know that an awkward wiggle dance is necessary, so. Enjoy guys. And then all you gotta do is rinse everything off with some warm water and a paper towel or washcloth. This really helps just get everything off because banana can be a little messy to work with. So this just ensures that you're getting all the chunks off your face. So you know how we used a half a banana in this mask? Well, we still have another half and you know what we can do with that? Make a smoothie out of it using the exact same ingredients. So I just froze the other half of the banana and then I am adding everything into my little blender here. And the only extra thing that I am adding is a little bit of vanilla and a pinch of cinnamon just to make it a little bit more flavorful and yummy. Then just mix it all together and you're gonna be left with a super creamy and sweet smoothie that's gonna help hydrate you from the inside out. So that is gonna be it for today. I hope you guys found this skincare video helpful. What I think would be cool to do is for you guys to go into the comments and tell me any of your skincare tips that have been really helpful for you and hopefully we can all kind of help each other out because I have discovered so many things from you guys that I love. We can all kind of help each other out. And if you want even more tips on hydration and how to keep your skin feeling its best, make sure you check out the 
simple skincare website. But that is gonna be it for today, my friends. I love you. I'm gonna blow you some kisses even though I look terrible when I do this. <laughs> that was just, there needs to be a cheese emoji so I can just insert that here. But I'm gonna get going. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.